Good morning, everyone. Wanted to hop on real quick and hopefully share a little bit of motivation or inspiration or whatever we want to call it. Pulling out here, fixing to start my Saturday. It is chilly. If you've not been out yet, it is chilly. And I can't say nothing because all of all the the do. And Ryder is tore all the pieces in the yard wanting to go. Bless his heart. <clears throat> anyway, my thoughts today, well actually what I've been thinking about, you know, for a few days, what's on my mind is that one day at a time get up. I guess two little little thoughts for today. Um, <clears throat> when things don't go like you planned or you're having a hard time or you're upset or whatever it may be, you can't say it and let it consume you. Well, you can, but <laughs> it's better that you don't. And I think after so many things, after you're hurt so many times, and probably not everybody, but I think there comes a point in a time in your life when you've been hurt so many times, you finally get to that point of, I've just got to you know, endure it. I've got to go through it. And you just try your best to go on about your life best that you can. And that's the part about getting up. You've got to get up. <clears throat> like yesterday, and this is, I'm just sharing, you know, some of my story and some of my experience. And I hope that it's a help to somebody. I have a, a dear friend of mine that has been through something that I've just went through. And she told me yesterday, maybe she went through it so that she could help me through it. And so if I could be a help to somebody else, at least it's not a waste. You know, it wasn't for nothing. So, yesterday, <clears throat> I got up and put my makeup on and dressed like a girl, as I put it. Because <laughs> a lot of times I've... I like to just wear my Mac hat or something and, you know, because I'm, I'm a big tomboy. I grew up with my dad working on cars and stuff. And I'm not really feminine. Like, I like to dress up. I like to look nice, you know, especially, you know, I like to get fixed up and go somewhere. Like, I go to church and I fix up for that. And by no means think that, that you, that's what you need to do. It's not in your clothes or nothing like that. God wants you there. Regardless of what you look like, you don't have to fix up to come to church or nothing like that. That's just something that I like to do. And <clears throat> I got up, put my makeup on, dressed like a girl, and went about my day. You know, just trying to do the best that I could. And I thought yesterday, you know, that what went through my mind and it's probably because I'm a writer like I think about stuff just crazy all the time and everything means something and you know all that my coffee just spilled just a little bit um and everything means something and blah 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 you know like I'm just I don't know it's and I was reading last night it's Sagittarius thing you know there's got to be some big meaning to everything <laughs> so I don't know <laughs> but I thought she wears heartbreak well because on the outside people especially people that don't know me think well she's happy and fine and great and everything else but people that know me like a friend of mine you know she's like I can tell something's wrong you know you can play the part 
And that's what I thought last night. I was like, boy, I really am a good, a good actor. Because I can get on here and I can do these videos and I can smile and I can be happy and I can talk about, you know, positive things and I'm being, you know, honest. I'm being positive. I'm not, you know, making things up or nothing like that. But I can put a smile on my face and look like I'm fine and inside be a complete wreck. And I thought of that yesterday, and I was like, she wears heartbreak well. And then I thought, because she doesn't have a choice. And that's this thing in life. We don't have a choice about pain down here. Okay, a lot of people might think, you know, well, I have a choice. I can go out here, and I can do drugs, and I can get drunk, and, and I can get away from it a while. Yeah, you can. I've done it. But there comes a point of coming down to where all that's still there. And you can suppress things and shut things out for a long time. But it will come up. It will resurface. Trust me. I have suppressed things in my life for years and years. And it about get me down. I mean, it will come up and, like, knock you down. And with knowing all that, I had this hit me, this heartache, this devastation hit me. The newest one <laughs> and the newest devastation, I guess, in my life or, you know, thing in my life. And I was like, you know, immediately you think of, well, I've got to do something. i got to get my mind off of it or, you know, whatever. And I thought, no. You're going to sit here. And you're going to endure it. You're going to deal with it. And you're going to face it. You're going to accept it. Because if you don't, it's not going to be dealt with. And it's you're not going to heal. You can't have wounds, especially deep wounds, and slap a band-aid on and go on and think, well, you know, it'll heal and it's fine because it's going to get infected. And I think a lot of times is we don't even put a band-aid on it. We completely ignore it. Like your arm gets cut off and you just act like nothing even happens. You know, and that's not healing. That's not dealing with things. And I believe me, I understand not wanting to deal with it because my first instinct is to not deal with it, to shut it out. I don't want to even think about it because I don't like being physically sick. I don't like, you know, being sick at my stomach, not being able to eat, not being able to sleep, you know, my chest hurting, you know, things like that. All those things that come with heartache, whether you're dealing with a death in your home or, you know, you found out the person you loved was cheating on you or lying to you or, you know, a death of a child or, you know, your child's in trouble or just, you know, you get fired at work, you know, this life is pain, and that's what's so beautiful about heaven and so great about accepting Christ is He offers us an option of eternity with no pain. And that's what I want to want to focus on is I will get to lay all this down. I will get to rest. No more pain, no more heartache. And that's, I don't deserve that at all. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know why in the world God would save me. Because I don't deserve it. And I've certainly not treated it right. Because I got saved when I was like 9 or 10. And I've not been good to it. I've got a lot of stuff that I've had to pay for and pay for dearly. 
but that's how much he loves us. He wants you there. He, it is not his will for anybody to spend eternity in hell. He wants you to have eternity in peace and joy, happiness, no pain. And that's what I'm focusing on. That's what I prayed last night. <clears throat> I have a, a prayer closet. And if you don't have one, I encourage you to get one. Or an altar somewhere. I have a prayer closet. And I'm sitting in there and I was praying. And I was, I was overwhelmed with fears. You know, things that had been like said to me and like the future like I was in fear about the future and I was praying and I was like God whatever you decide whatever you want for my life please help me to endure it please give me the strength to get through this life to keep going until I get home to you because we're here just for a season It'll be over before we know it, truthfully. And if we're alive, if God gives us the miracle of being able to open our eyes another day, He has work for us. There's a purpose for us. Whether we understand it or know it or see it or even think of it or care about it, I'd say, you know, a lot of people don't even think of it, but God's got a perfect plan for your life and a purpose. And I want to be useful. Lord knows, I, I've sure definitely got a lot to make up to Him and a lot to make, you know, make up for. A lot of time I've wasted in my life doing wrong and not caring about nobody but myself. You know, not helping nobody. So, I hope that's a help to you. <laughs> I hope that <clears throat> if you're struggling, that you know that this is just for a season. You know, there may be crying and mourning for a time, but joy comes in the morning. And it just takes time. Keep your head up. It just takes time. Keep going. Get up and keep going. But I love you guys. I'll see you later. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe or whatever you want to do. You know the whole thing. I ain't got to say this every time. But I love you guys. Be praying for me and I'll be praying for you.